Excellent. Okay. Um, well, we'll get started because welcome. How is everyone? I, I'm so good to see you. Um, you know, it's it's for me. This is incredibly strange. Like I feel like I am. <clears throat> Like I teach uh, ed educational technology, and you know I've taught online classes for a long time, and I'm pretty facile with all these technologies. I feel like this is the most nervous I've been before teaching a class in like memory. Just I, I don't know. There's something about it. Like I, part of it is I think I'm really sad that that we're not together, and part of it is like oh, well. Even still, I better not screw this up. So um, anyway, I'm just, I am really, really glad to see you. So on my, behind me here, I have, uh, you can see the uh, kind of the plan for the day. Uh, I wanted to, uh, let me just, uh, let's go. So I fir my first thing that I want to do is I just want to check in and, uh, what that's going to look like, I'll explain in a second, but we're, you're going to go into a breakout group. Um, and um, I'll, that's like we did the other day and uh, the last time we met in class. And it's just really about checking in. How are things going for you? Because it's, it's both from a like uh, affective side, like I want to know how things are for you. Um, and also from a strategic side, like uh, you've been now remote learning in, you know, full time for about uh, four days or whatever it's been and you've had some experiences. So I wanna um, just figure out what we can learn to support both us and kind of hear from your experiences, like what's working for you, what's not. And then also just kind of like what, just kind of, uh, yeah, just check in as I said. So we'll do that first. So the first is a check-in. Then um, we're gonna do some uh, practice teaching for mini lessons. We're, they're actually going to be mini micro lessons because they're not micro lessons or even smaller than micro lessons. So mini micro lesson. I was going to say femto lesson or pico lesson, but I wasn't sure about the uh, the, um, the metric uh, system awareness of folks. So we'll just call it a mini micro lessons, and I'll explain what that's going to be like. And then uh, at the very end, we'll do a little bit, and uh, we'll continue. We're you know we've been talking about matter. Uh, but we'll continue with math and okay I, we'll do this I'm gonna give you um, two minutes in your breakout room I'm gonna just do the breakout rooms again I don't even know if it'll be the same breakout rooms or different it's just gonna be two minutes and then we'll wrap up class so it's a nice manageable time if you got to get up and like move around or something do that um, but here's <laughs> here's the question and it's a legit question um, even though it involves fart um, so here's the question, and I don't want you to Google it. I want you to think about math and what you know about math, which is how much matter something has. And I want you to think about weight, which is the effect of gravity on that matter. And so, um, you know, pounds are a measure of weight, and mass is a measure of how many molecules are in us. So the question that I want you to uh, talk about in your breakout room, and it looks like they will be the same, is this. When you fart, well, no, sorry, maybe let's not, let's not make it personal, because some of you I know don't do that. But if I fart, uh, which is probably a lot more practically like uh, imaginable for, for you, uh, if I fart, do I lose weight? So I'll, I'll put that in the, um, and, and I'm gonna give you each about uh, two minutes to talk about it. Um, and I'm gonna put you in the rooms and I'll send out a note that just recapitulates that, that question. So you're gonna go in your room and the question you'll be wrestling with and arguing about, when Tom farts, does he lose weight? Go. Well, what'd y'all think? We said yes. Why? Because gas has mass. Right. Even if it's so, like the tiniest little amount, I would like we would say you would lose weight, like the tiniest amount. Similar so, to breathing. Be, because there are molecules in the fart. Yeah. Yep. How do, 
any uh, any different answers than that? Because it's like we visualize the CO2 going into the plant, uh, the uh, the tree, right? Um, and so we know that you know, kind of air has matter in it, right? And matter is how we measure it. So any different answers or thoughts than, um, yeah, you lose weight from your fart. We had a slightly different interpretation where we said that uh, the weight and the mass that you lose from the fart is not considered to be you. So you're losing oh, weight, but not mass because uh, the mass that you're losing is not you. All right, oh, that's really interesting. So I hadn't even thought of it that way. But if I said, if I'd framed that question differently, then that like the weight which counts as, or basically everything that is enclosed within you whether it's part of your alimentary canal or not um sounds like you would say like the fart counts as part of you the fart gas right like if i just said um everything that's inside of you like contained within the walls of you mm -hmm. um if, if that's what counts as you even though like you may not feel like your fart gas is a part of you um that then you your answer would be would be different right like you would say, yeah. yeah i guess you would lose that any other answers or thoughts so this is it so this is interesting i would say that the reason that all of you have that response and honestly the reason that i had that response um two days ago when i first uh came across this question um was for the same reason that you articulated that when we lose matter, we lose mass, which is true because we're losing molecules that were a part of us. But weight is the combination of how much matter you have combined with gravity's impact on that matter. So you have the same mass on the moon as you do on the earth, but you have a different weight um, because the moon only pulls you one sixth the strength that the earth's gravity does. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is, think about if you somehow ingested a whole bunch of helium balloons, if they were just inside you, and if you got rid of those, would your weight, like we would say, yeah, getting rid of those balloons and the helium inside them, you would lose mass, absolutely. Would you lose weight though? You would gain weight. You would gain weight. And so that, that's exactly it because like the, because fart gas is, is lighter than air. Um, and so fart gas is actually are kind of they're not helium but they're they they are less dense than the air around us and so their um, impact on weight is different and so the more fart gas you have in you the lighter um i guess you are and so uh i'm not saying like get gassy because the impact is so negligible if you want to lose weight um, because really it's about mass that, that most folks want to lose when they want to lose something but Anyway, um, so what the re <laughs> it's really interesting that all of you had that. I've, in other classes I've, I've had where we didn't emphasize as clearly kind of that route of CO2 in the air and the matter that's in there, a couple of folks have usually pulled out that idea. Actually, the methane is less dense in the air. And so when you lose that, you actually gain weight. Just like if you lost the helium balloon, you would lose weight. Um, but um, I don't know, that's really interesting to me. What I'm gonna ask you to connect that to um, is uh, just essentially uh, like the origins of the universe and uh, parts. So that's gonna be part of uh, one of the little bits of work that I'm gonna have you do during the week. 